Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we will look at using bookmarks in Microsoft Word. Now a bookmark can be used to save a location in a part of your document and we can then use that to quickly navigate or to even link to that part of the document. And we're going to see some examples of it here in this video. First thing we need to do is actually create or insert this bookmark. Now at the bottom of this document, if I scroll down to the last page, I have a little image here, a little table, that's just showing a breakdown of some planet data. And I want to use this as my bookmark area. So let me zoom in a tiny bit for ease of seeing for you guys. And I'm going to highlight the word breakdown. Now when you create a bookmark, you don't have to highlight a word. I can click amongst that sentence. But it's normally encouraged to highlight an area of it. Bookmarks can cause some misunderstanding and some confusion when a document is edited in the future. Because these bookmarks can move with your edits. If you are to add new content or to copy and paste or to, to move uh, parts around a document. Now if I highlight that word and create the bookmark, if I copy that paragraph or something to another document or to another part of this document, then that bookmark can move. Indeed, if I copy it to a different document, the bookmark goes with it. If I just click somewhere in that sentence, that doesn't tend to work so well. So it's something you've got to be a little bit careful of if you have bookmarks. I'm going to highlight that word click on my insert tab at the top and click on bookmark which is about halfway along. In here I can give my bookmark a name and I'm just going to call it breakdown. There are a few rules with your names. You cannot use spaces, you cannot start with numbers although you can use them and there's a heavy limit on what symbols you may be able to use as well. The key thing there is no spaces. I'm just going to call it breakdown, so I'm keeping within their naming rules. I'll click add on the right hand side. If you already have some bookmarks, they would appear in this list. You see there are options to sort them by name or location. So they'll be alphabetically by name uh, by default. I'll click on add and that is now in there. It is created. The bookmark is not a visible thing. I cannot see it at the moment. And indeed if I turn my show hide button on, then that still doesn't show it either. It shows a lot of hidden characters, but it doesn't show a bookmark. I'll show you how you can find them uh, later in this video. For now though, we have a bookmark. Now, why would you want to use one? Well, one of the reasons is simply to navigate a large document easily. And one of the tools we can use for that is GoTo. So if I just scroll up somewhere in my document, somewhere else, and if I press my F5 key, which is go to in Microsoft Word, and if I choose bookmark from the list on the left, I then have a drop down list of all of my bookmarks in this document. I obviously only have the one here. I'll make sure that's selected, click on go to, and it will jump me to that part of the document. So it's a little bit of a cumbersome process, to be honest, to have to open up go to and then select it but if this is the kind of thing you do a lot you know you can add buttons up to your toolbar to speed it up um, and that bookmark will automatically be selected uh, next time I go in because I used it last time so if you, if you use these things a lot it is a little bit quicker than I just demonstrated but it's still a little bit cumbersome but if you've got a big document a very big document you're going to appreciate features like that you only really use bookmarks if there's no other identifiable feature. So for example, these headers I've got to the chapters of these documents, these are using heading styles. So I don't need to bookmark them. I can link to them. I can cross-reference. I can create tables of contents. All this kind of stuff. I can use a navigation pane and go to. All with heading styles. But in this example down here, I'm imagining I didn't want a header and I don't want it in my table of contents or anything. So I needed another way of identifying that 
part of the document and the bookmark you know fitted that requirement okay so that's using go to now linking to it is the other big thing so if I scroll up in this document there is a part in the Jupiter paragraph where it mentions that Jupiter is at 318 Earth masses. That is a big planet, eh? Now, that 318 Earth masses is mentioned in my table. There it is, 318 Earth masses. So, I would like to link. So, if somebody's reading that, they may want to quickly look at how that compares to other planets. You know, how many Earth masses are they? So, let me highlight that piece of content. Click on my insert tab and hyperlink. Within here, I can choose place in this document. And I'll have all my styles, my heading styles I mentioned just one moment ago. If you're not familiar with heading styles, you, you want to go check that out. It's one of the most important features of Word, especially if you're creating large documents. Here I have my bookmarks as well though, just the one, but they would be listed. I can click OK after selecting it and I have my link to the area. So if I hold down Control and click my link, that will now jump me to that bookmarked area. So that's one of the key reasons for using bookmarks. Navigation is one, providing a way of linking the different parts of your document together will be another big one. Now, I mentioned earlier in the video, I will show you how you can find these. Because some of you watching this may have to use other people's documents a lot. And when you do that, you know, who knows what they've done. Whether they're highly skilled in Word or not. You know, there are many different techniques people can use. And when you're using someone else's document, it's not always that clear how they've created something or where these things are. Now, I've already mentioned the Show Hide button can't help us here. Draft View can't help us here. The ruler can't help us. Some of these features that you may be familiar with. What I'm going to do is click on my File tab. Come down to Options. Come into the Advanced area. And scroll down to the area where it says Show Document Content. In here I can check the Show Bookmarks option. Click OK. And you can see it puts these angle brackets, these square brackets around that breakdown word. So obviously I could use things like go to and I can use that to navigate to the different bookmarks if there were a lot and I was trying to identify them. But then once you're in that area of the document, these square brackets would give away exactly where that bookmark is. Now if I do go back and click on insert and bookmark right now, just to mention there are options in here to delete your current bookmarks as well. So if that was no longer needed, I could delete that bookmark and close that down. That is gone, the square brackets disappear. And I would probably retrace my steps to not show bookmarks again in the future. You may wish to have that permanently on. You know, that's not necessarily a bad idea if you're working with bookmarks in your documents. For me, I'm going to turn that off right now. And that was how we can use bookmarks in Microsoft Word. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel. And come check us out at computergarga.com.